Hey, Georgia, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Great, thanks for asking. How's things at the Chin Community Western Partnership? It's going great. We're running a range of activities to support the community to help lower the risk of alcohol and other drugs, including soccer and volleyball training sessions. That sounds like a great initiative. Thanks. If we can make the community stronger, we can create a sense of inclusion that will help individuals to avoid depending on alcohol and drugs. Come on in, I'll show you. So does your work involve a lot of conversations with people facing challenges with alcohol and other drugs? We aim to intervene before it gets to that stage, but yes, it's an important part of what we do. Of course. How do you approach these situations when you have to have the talk? What's the first step? Think about what the individual is going through. Any other advice on starting these types of conversations? Um, remain positive and reassuring and use relatable topics such as parenting and health to get help around the stigma associated with alcohol and drugs so you can have your conversation started. What can you do to plan discussions around alcohol and other drugs? Um, knowing where to get help for yourself and for your loved ones. Also, check out the Alcohol and Drug Foundation's new community hub. It got tons of great infos and guides so you have an informed decision and take care of yourself because you need to be at your best to, to take care of others. That's great. What do you love about working with the Chin Community Western Partnership? Having conversation that leads to someone getting the help that they need. And what advice would you give to anyone starting out on a drug and alcohol prevention project? Um, get help. The more you engage with the community, the better outcome you will have and with knowledge and community support, you can help people avoid the risk of alcohol and drugs. Most importantly, believe in your idea that you can make a difference.